Esta semana, o Espaço Mongolé foi dar um giro com Isabela Rocha, a menina que transformou o bullying em uma marca de sucesso. Eu quero convidar a todos vocês em casa para junto partirmos para essa aventura. História bonita de superação e vamos todos agradecer por ter meninas como esta que ainda acreditam que o futuro será melhor. Vamos a isso? Não sai daí, porque eu conto com vocês na fila da frente do Espaço Mongolé. Esta semana o Espaço Bambolé foi dar um giro por aí. Fomos dar um giro com a Isabela Rocha, a designer que transformou o bullying sofrido na infância em uma marca de sucesso. Quero convidar a todos vocês em casa, juntos vamos dar um giro por aí, porque meninas como a Isabela merecem esse nosso apoio. Não sei daí, conto com vocês na fila da frente do Espaço Bambolé. Vamos a isso! Hi, I'm Isabella Rocha and I'm the founder of The Ugly Twin. So growing up, I was bullied and people used to call me ugly and that became my identity. And then in 2016, I decided to start um, like making t-shirts and the first thing I put on my t-shirt was the word ugly. And um, I really didn't know what to do with the brand or how to even make t-shirts or anything. So I decided to watch some YouTube videos. I learned how to screen print and then I started to adapt that into how I was uh, creating my t-shirts. Uh, the first design I ever made was on a coral shirt and uh, <laughs> with a YouTube tutorial. And from there things got started. My friends and family, when they first saw it, there was a bit of confusion because they would ask me like, why would you put the word ugly on there? And I had to explain to them that it was for empowerment because how can somebody bring you down if you take back like a word that's negatively fueled and you're wearing it with pride, you know? So it was confusing, but once people started to understand, they started to receive it better. And here we are now. A few years ago, I was on Queen Street in some stores and I did, uh, I was part of a pop-up shop during a Christmas market and um, over time I went into the Remix project where, which is an art incubator and I got to like really exercise and practice my craft. I was around other creatives so it was nice to be around them because then you could feed off of them and uh, I applied for a proposal for a pop-up shop which we're in right now and it was approved and um, as growing up, art has always played a huge role in what I do. So it was only right for me to incorporate both things into the retail experience that I curated. After making my first shirt, I decided to start messing around with different colors. So, and I switched up the logos, tried something new. So I switched up the colors, new logos, and I started um, handing them out to stores to see how those would be received. They were received quite well, so then it kind of snowballed from there started making more shirts, more designs, messing around with more logos. And over time, it was getting people's attention. I would see people wearing them on Queen Street and that kind of fueled me to keep going because I'm like, this is being received well. So I used that for the momentum. During Fashion Week in 2015, I made a sample hat for myself, which I wore to Fashion Week and one of the models saw it and asked for it. And I told him that I could make him one. And then he mentioned to me that he worked at a store on Queen Street and he asked me to go in to meet the owners. And from there, that's, they asked for samples. So we put them in to see how they would be received. They were received quite well and that's when I decided to start selling them properly and mass producing them. I started making more because the demand at the store was going up. People, there was a lot of eyes because of the traffic on Queen Street. So from there, it was the only, it was the right thing to do because the people wanted them, so you ha I, had to, I had to meet that demand, yeah. So the same people that my shirt was in their store, they were doing a Christmas market where they had uh, a group of vendors come in and they asked me to be a part of it. So 
I created new designs that I dropped there for that specific event and that was my first ever pop-up experience. This opportunity here at Stacked has been my biggest opportunity and the first time that I'm doing like a solo uh, retail experience and it's going pretty well so far. The feedback so far has been pretty good. People are telling me that they've never seen this concept before because I have shirts on canvases as if they were art pieces and uh, I believe I'm the first one to do it. Maybe here that I know of, that you might know of. Um, and yeah, the feedback has been really solid and people have been very, very nice. And we have a canvas in the space that they're engaging with, which I really love. And things are going quite well. So the thing that keeps me going now is the fact that it's kind of created a wave and there's so much empowerment around the whole brand. So the only way that I know that I can help other people is to continue to push it. And other people have like gotten behind the brand because of the messaging and uh, also I am a black female, I'm African, and I'm an entrepreneur, so all these, I'm a min minority across the board, so it's important for me to keep pushing for people that have always also experienced the exact same thing as myself. Other people that were bullied or experienced the same thing have approached me and we have conversed about the fact that they find empowerment through the shirts and that they appreciate it, so it's good to connect with them in that way, and it also keeps me going like it's fuel. For everybody that's ever experienced the same thing, I would say embrace your flaws, run with it, and just be who you are, because that's the only way to be. And uh, I feel like I'm a living testimony of that. You could build and do great things from that. Um, I'm extremely grateful to my family, my friends, and everybody that leans into the brand and supports it. We are, we are. My name is Isabella Rocha and I am on Kamosh TV on Ishbas Mangule. Histórias de vidas como esta são no Espaço Mangule na Kamosh TV. E para manter esse clima de alegria, vamos à música. Este é o nosso momento musical. Volto já, não sei daí, porque temos boas músicas para vocês.